What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we're going to talk about pinpoint pitching in MLB The Show 21. You got to make the switch to it. I'm telling you right now, you got to make the switch to it. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do this, and I feel like I'm a good person to teach you how to do this as well, because I was terrible at pinpoint pitching. I was horrible at it. I thought 100% I'm going to quit. I'm just going to quit. I'm going to stick with analog. I know how to use analog. I've been able to have success with it. I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to pinpoint pitching. Well, I was wrong. I was 100% wrong, and I couldn't be happier that I stuck through it and learned how to use pinpoint pitching. I'm going to tell you exactly how you need to practice. So I would go into practice. I'm going to practice mode for a little bit. I tried it out. Wasn't good at it. And I even tried to practice it in ranked seasons. I don't recommend that you practice this online. It's just not a good way about going about it. I don't even really recommend that you practice this in practice mode. Why? Because when you practice it in practice mode, you really ha got to have self-discipline to be practicing it in practice mode. You know, there, there's nothing that you're gaining. You're not gaining any XP. You're not gaining any new cards. You're not gaining any packs, anything like that. So here's how I recommend that you practice it. This is what I did. I went into Conquest, and that's where I practiced it. Why? Because I can get all those things. I can get XP. I can get packs. I can get cards. I can knock out some of these maps. That's the way to practice it. Go into Conquest and practice it. Low stress environment. Low stress environment. You're going to be able to lock in. You're going to be able to focus. And you're going to be able to do what you need to do to get better at pinpoint pitching. Here's the thing about pinpoint pitching. Once, once you get it down, and it's not that difficult. Here, here's the main difference between analog and pinpoint pitching. In analog, you're just moving the line. You're moving it straight down to the line, and you're pushing up to the hoop. In pinpoint, the only difference, you have that shape beforehand. Once you learn the shape, and then it's not that tough, honestly. I mean, let's say you throw 300 to 100, uh, 300 to 1,000 of these pitches in Conquest, knocking out these maps. You're going to get that shape down. You're going to get that shape down, and then it's just the same as analog. You're just moving the ball to the hoop. Very, very, very easy. There's a couple of key things that you got to know about it, but that's the gist of it. That That's that's all there is to it. So once you get it down, I, I'm just telling you right now, you'll you'll have this revelation if you stick with it. It's overpowered. Like, it's overpowered. It honestly, it's a little bit more difficult, quote, unquote, to perform but once you get it down and you're just throwing perfect pitch after perfect pitch after perfect pitch you're gonna think like the par on this should not be that small and this is a hot take right now but i'm telling you right now anybody that throws pinpoint well they're they're gonna know what i'm talking about the par on it that that black circle around the baseball should really be about as wide as meter or analog because it's not that much more difficult it's just new and it's different and today I'm here to teach an old dog some new tricks. That's what we're doing in today's video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read you some of the notes that I've written down for this. And then we'll maybe we'll throw a couple pitches. I'll talk to you a little bit. All right. So now the first thing that we got to talk about is all the, all, the, the, all the pitch shapes. They're the same regardless of pitcher. So you know an analog, you know that, that line, it moves up and down, right? I said it's the first part. It's just like the first shape in that line. So you have pitchers with quicker deliveries. You have pitchers with longer deliveries. That the first shape's always the same. So that's kind of an advantage. So you what you know what I'm saying. So here's the sinker. You can see the first shape. Does the first shape, regardless of what pitcher I have, regardless of if, if I'm out of the stretch or out of the windup. That first shape, that first motion, is always the same. It doesn't matter if I have Hershiser. It doesn't matter if I have. Nolan Ryan, it doesn't matter if I have Lee Smith, it, it, just pick your pitcher, it doesn't matter. That sinker motion on every single pitcher is exactly the same in that first shape. So just think about it like this, once you get that timing down on that, you're going to be able to have that timing on every single pitcher for the rest. Now after you do the first shape, the ball sits at the top, alright? The ball sits at the top, it's going to sit up there longer if you're in the windup. And it's going to be a little bit shorter if you're in the stretch. If you're struggling, honestly, the stretch might be a little bit er or easier at first. If only because you're going to want to do it in a one full motion. Like analog is a very fast motion. You move down, you move up. This is you're going to do the shape. You're going to chill, 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 chill. 
then you're gonna move it to the hoop at the right time and i'm gonna give you some key tips on when to move it to the hoop at the right time the more important part you don't have to be i think one of the things is people think i've got to be a thousand percent accurate on the shape you're gonna get the shape down you're gonna get the shape down you're gonna get to a hundred percent accuracy on the shape over time but let's say you hit like 60 70 percent that's okay that's okay what we really want to do is we want to move that down to the hoop and we want to hit the hoop perfectly at the right time we do that we're probably going to have some better we're going to have decent control okay so the best pitches they honestly have good shapes you know the the splitter the circle change up they don't have that good of shapes i'm not really trying to dot those pitches anyways i'm mostly trying to throw those pitches below the zone regular change ups fine you know regular change up shape it's fine sinker good shape pretty easy shape to do not bad bam i need to drill a perfect perfect i need to drill a perfect 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 is so satisfying this i think i was way too slow on that shape yeah all right i'm just gonna try to, i'm gonna get into the zone here and try to like strike out a batter like i would normally 100 percent accuracy look at that look at that dot look at that dot man here we go. I missed that a little bit. Still not a bad pitch though. Still not a bad pitch. Look at this cutter shape. Beautiful shape. Very easy shape. Just dots all all day. So the pitch shapes you're going to get you're going to get down. Let's talk about the second part though. Let's talk about the timing. You know, you're going to you're gonna memorize all those shapes. That's just a that just takes just takes reps, but you're gonna memorize that. Get the muscle memory on the timing down for that. Now here's the key on moving it down to the circle because here's the problem I had. Here was my problem, right? So I do the shape, it's all well and good. I'm trying to throw it down to this bottom circle and I throw it like too early. See so 0.11 seconds, it goes way above the zone. Early. The earlier you go you get to the circle at the bottom, the higher it goes, the later, the lower it goes. All right. So I was too early. A bunch of the time I was just sailing pitches. I was all over the place. How did I get that timing down? Well, here's what I look for. All right. You can see the white dot on the screen. See the white dot in the thing. When that circle is the same size as the white dot, that's when I move the right stick down towards the dot. And the thing also is, Here's what I didn't realize. So I'd be, I'd get up to the top. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to move the right stick down. And I would panic. I was like, I'm not going to get it there in time. I'm going to be super late. You're not. You're going to move that right stick much faster. It's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just human nature or what, but we're going to be able to move that right stick towards the hoop much faster than you might think. So use that to your advantage that knowledge you're gonna have plenty of time to get the right stick down when that circle gets about the same size now we move it down we get the perfect perfect there you see what i'm saying you're gonna be able to move that right stick down don't panic up top and throw it early just wait 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 about the same size that's when i move it in and you're gonna be able to move it to the same size like with your reaction time very very quickly if you try to go too early you're not going to have success trust your reaction time when you see that circle about the same size you can also see that second hoop it closes in it closes in all right it closes in you don't want to try to move it to the circle right as it closes in right as it closes in don't try to like catch it it's not going to close in and continue to close in like this all right it's just going to get there and stay for a second and then it's going to do whatever it does, but it's, you don't want to catch it right as it gets there. It's going to go in there about 0.5 seconds. You're going to have that window. So it's going to go in there and then that's when you start, start to get ready to, to throw. So let's just take a look at one here. Let's just take a look at it. So watch it close, watch it close, watch it close. It's closed and then it chills for a second. All right. You don't want to just time it up right at that same moment, you know, let it close. And then you're ready to go close. Go. I was a little bit late there. Cause I was trying to overemphasize for it. That's just something I think about though. All right. I'm not trying to time it up right at the close. It's like a little bit after it closes, just a little bit after it closes. That's when I'm going to fire. Here's another, here's another tip too. All right. Let's just watch this animation play out. Okay. 
So the first shape, like I said, the first shape is always the same. Up and around, regardless of pitcher, regardless of stretch or anything like that, it's always the same. Goes around one, two, three, four, five. All right? Goes around one, two, three, four, five. Now that part is the difference. You no, know, that's the different part in pinpoint pitching. That release down that timing. You can see it's exactly set to five seconds for Oral Hershizer's motion. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Every single time it's gonna be like that. Maybe that helps you out. On different pitchers, that one, two, three, four, five, it's going to be different. All right. It's going to be different. You're just gonna have to count on the particular pitcher of choice. So why another, that's why conquest is another great way to practice because the pitchers that are on your team, you're just going to get tons and tons and tons and tons of reps with them. So you could either count to the five seconds. I don't personally use that. I just know people do use that. Don't worry about counting the first shape. That's not important to count. That's always the same time, but you can count to five on oral Hershizer's motion. Maybe if we had, you know, Jacob Junis or, Clayton Kershaw, there's more like three or four seconds. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think of someone with a really quick motion. Like Corbin Burns might be a little bit quicker because it's more like a, kind of like out of the out of the stretch. Stretch is going to be faster too. Stretch isn't going to be five seconds where you're holding at the top. It might be like one to two. Just count it like that. What I personally look at is I don't do the count. I just look for the hoop to be the same size as that white dot. When it's the same size as that white dot, I fire down. I fire down. So let me give you a tip real quick on like a four seam fastball, all right? Four seam fastball is probably the easiest one to do. All you gotta do on this one, grip the right stick right in the middle at the bottom, just like I've I would have shown you on uh, our hand cam tutorial for pitching a pitch, uh, for pitching a pitch that's gonna be have the hoop in the middle, straight up, straight down. Look at that, hundred percent actually doesn't have to be perfect. I was a little bit early there. I'm not pitching perfect for the tutorial. I pitch a lot better when I'm just on stream and I'm 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 playing. You know what I mean? For these for like instant like isolated stuff like this, it's a lot more difficult just to to lock in. Bam. Still a little bit early. Still a little bit early there. But yeah, on this one, just grab the right stick in the middle. Right up or grab the right stick. I should say in like I'm in the center. All right. Grab the right stick in the center with your thumb, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. When you have a shape like this sinker, right? What I really recommend that you do for like the sinker is be dramatic on the outside with your thumb. Straight down, dramatic on the outside. Really get that right stick over, you know, to make the circle. Really get that circle going. That's something that's going to help you out. Then it's all just about the speed and the flow and the muscle memory. I mean... That time I had 17 because I was too slow. If you need to watch the animation play out, you're not going to need, so you're not going to need to watch the animation play out on every single pitch for the rest of your life because you're, it's always the same. So you're going to get used to that speed, 58 accuracy there. If it's green, that means you're good. If it's yellow, that means you're off, either too slow or too fast. Perfect. And when you go through conquest, it's like, you're going to be throwing like a ton of, let's, you know, you're just going to be throwing a ton of your sinkers, just getting it ready to go shape after shape, after shape. First shape doesn't even matter as much as the second shape. Here we go. Oh, that was not even the best shape. Let's see if it ends up in a good spot. Bam. No, nah, I messed that one up. I'm messing these up and I apologize because I'm nervous, but I'm telling you, this is, this is how you get it done. 55% too slow. All right, I'm just going to lock in. I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to see how well I can do against a couple batters. And I'm going to allow you just to watch that, all right? I'm going to allow you to watch that here. I'm going to allow just, just watch this, all right? Just watch this. Let's go uh, on defense. That's fine. All right, go ahead and start practice, all right? A little bit up. I'm moving it really slow for some reason. And I don't know why I don't need to move it really slow like that. Good pitch. Good pitch. You don't want to get worried about what the hitter does. That that was another thing that really, that really would frustrate me. All right. So 
I throw a perfect perfect and man throwing perfect perfects in pinpoint once you start to do that consistently it's like the best feeling just seeing those purple letters pop up on the screen it's like that feels good but what can get you frustrated is like oh i threw a perfect perfect p- pitch with pinpoint and the hitter they still hit it and they hit it well that can happen but you need to focus on the results of the pitch and not how well the hitter hits it. If they hit your dotted up pitch, they hit your dotted up pitch. I had to get over that. You know what I mean? So I feel like I should say that in the video as well, just so you can kind of get the, uh, just so you can just, just block that out. I mean, if you're just dotting like crazy and you're pitching how you want to pitch and you're staying out of the middle and you're getting them to chase, you're doing your job. A little bit early, a little bit early, just chill. My goal was to get eight out of 10 perfect pitches. You know, like when I throw 10 pitches, eight of them, I want them to be perfect, perfect. A little bit early. So let's cut our way. Nice spot. Nice spot. That's right where we want it. First shape. Second shape. He hit that pretty good. I don't think that was that bad of a pitch though. But he hit that pretty good. My, my park has tons of elevation. It's real small too. But look. See, he hit that pretty good. But look where our location was in the bottom left. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. Don't. They hit it good. They hit it good. But if you were on point with your location, that's what really matters. I'm still a little bit, I don't know why I'm early. I think I'm a little bit nervous for the tutorial, man. I just am. Come on, we, we can pitch so much better than this too. Got him. Like keep being like uh, ten seconds early, so I need to wait longer. The time I messed it up, it's all right. Same size as the hoop. Same size as the hoop. Make that adjustment. You know, I was a little bit early. Now let's make that adjustment. Boom, perfect. Starting to get into that rhythm. I just stopped, picked up my controller and started making this today. I haven't really warmed up or anything. There we go. Look at that location. Striking them out. So early. No need to be that early. That's the one thing that I had to get out of my game. Be patient. You can fl flick the right stick down fast. Faster than you might think. I'm telling you. Wait for it to be the same size of the who. Bam. Bam. 100% accuracy. Perfect pitching. Bam. That's what we want right there. Make the shape nice and smooth. How many of you are counting those five seconds, right? How many of you are counting? I'm not counting them, but I'm just curious. I mean, it should be the same. All right, two and zero. Oh. Staying out of the middle though. A little bit early. Here we go. Ooh, I saw. I, that was not a good pitch. We got lucky there. Three and one here. All right, we walked him. It's all right. We're out of the stretch now. We need to do that early. All right, so now that we're out of the stretch, look how much faster I got I to gotta move it down. This is almost like one motion. It's up there for maybe one second. One, two. Motion, one, two. Much quicker out of the stretch. 
And at first, I'm telling you, the stretch might be easier for you. I, r I really feel like it was easier for me at first. All right, I got to lock back in. Perfect. 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 So satisfying every time. Let's walk him so we can throw some more people on uh, in the stretch. Let's see if I can throw it at him. I don't even know how to really do that. Let's see if I can just go into this and uh, do the practice type. Team practice. Run up first. Yes. Okay. I didn't do it because you got to hit start. Team practice. Run up first. Yes. All right. Sweet. Ninety five, that was a pretty damn good pitch. Great pitch. Great pitch. It's a little bit quicker out of the stretch. A little bit quicker. More like one motion. Way too early there. Perfect. That works. That works. Perfect. Perfect. Starting to get in that zone, man. Starting to get into that zone. Bam. Roll two. Well, I hope this helps you out. I hope this helps you out. Don't give up. Don't give up on this. All right. Don't give up on it. I'm telling you, it's the biggest regret you will ever have is to give up on this. You can do it. I'm telling you, I was horrible at it. I was terrible at it. Terrible, 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 terrible. And so I, I just wanted to leave you. I want to exit this video and I want to say, I believe in you. You can do this. You can do this. Trust me. You can do this. Go practice in conquest. How long my how long may it take you? It may take you 2 days. All right? It might take you 2 days. You got to you're going to get better. You're going to get better. You're going to get better. Don't give up. You get it down. Come on my stream twitchtv TV. Let me know if you got it down. I was the worst. I was the very, very worst. I was at square one with this. I wanted to give up. Chat believed in me. Now I'm believing in you. Best of luck. Thanks for watching.